The Moto X and more wooden variants becomes a reality aside from a pricing surprise. The HTC M8 could pack a larger screen and dual camera sensors, and a dual mode Android and Windows phone is finally a reality, sort of. I'm Jaime Rivera, and after a crazy week, trust me, I am going to celebrate this weekend like there's no tomorrow. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as those of you dreaming about a dual mode Android Windows phone can finally find one, sort of. The reason why is because Bluebird, this Korean company, has just built a phone that runs Android and it runs Windows Embedded 8 handheld. It's not really Windows Phone 8, but it looks like Windows Phone 8, it works like Windows Phone 8, and I don't know, it pretty much you can say it is. The problem is that this is really oriented for businesses for some particular reason that we don't really understand just yet. So stay tuned, hopefully this phone will not see the light of day and we'll probably see this happen in more OEMs that are probably more popular. Now let's talk about LG as those of you dreaming of getting an LG G3 at MWC 2014 are kind of in for a surprise as some Korean sources and very trusted ones say that apparently it is too early for another phone which we agree with. The LG G Flex is their current flagship and they do want to push that model as much as they can so apparently we will be getting the G3 in May along the Galaxy S5 which there is a rumor out there that it will happen on May so probably May will be the Korean month. Stay tuned. Now let's talk about Sony as we get this very interesting leak of a backplate for an Xperia, but this is not really for the Z1 according to rumors. It looks like a Z1 replacement backplate for those of you that shattered the glass or something, but apparently this does belong to the Z2. And given the fact that the spec difference between the Z2 and the Z1 is really not that significant, some of us are believing that this is just a minor upgrade and an option, like for example when the Z and the ZL were announced, pretty much the same phone, only different designs. Well, apparently the Z two will be something like this, so stay tuned, MWC could be the day. Now let's talk about HTC as we get some interesting rumors of the M8. First of all, we are getting apparently some dual lenses according to some case manufacturer. And when we talk about dual lenses, apparently we will have two sensors. Uh, and the question is exactly what HTC plans to do with these dual sensors as we have seen them do it for 3D video in the past. Obviously that flopped, but this is really interesting to see happen. And aside from that, apparently HTC will also invest on making the phone bigger, bringing a display around five inches which is great, but the bad news is that apparently the company is not going to be launching this phone at MWC. Apparently it'll happen in March, along with the other rumors of the Galaxy S5, so let's see how that goes. And finally, for the very hot news of the day, those of you that are still interested in getting a wooden Moto X, well, the company has just come to their senses. First of all, they have other three wooden options that are really interesting, which is great, so you get those options there, but aside from that, you're not gonna have to pay $100 for this. They've come to their senses, and now the price is just 25 bucks for the wooden option, which is just common sense. I don't understand who was willing to pay $100, probably you were, but that leads you to the question of the day. Um, exactly with this new price tag of just 25 bucks, would you still be willing to get a Moto X in a wooden option? Because, I don't know, in my particular case, even though the price does make sense now, I still don't find wood to be cool on a phone, but please prove me wrong in the comments down below, leave us a comment. And friends, you know the drill, if you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera, thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.